Okay, here we are, and we're going to zoom in. Asteroid belt. And we'll get our zoom. And then just a little bit, and we will come back out. Well, first we'll go in. <coughs> and this is what they've always been telling us, that it's a, a flipping uh, lint on the lens. We know that's not true. So as we zoom in on it, we're on the right hand side of the sun right now. A massive thing out way out there. So we zoom in on it. And we move away from the sun. And you see stars. So then we get magical little there we go, now we're back at our object. We should be able to say right in SCADA, so I had a little bit of problem there, but then you see this statement here. Okay. And then the actual factual. Is there water where we're looking at? So let's go ahead. Then I fixed our problems and I zoom us back into our object here, which basically I think I can go ahead and get us back out of this a little bit hang on. Pretty sure the twenty-sixth is fresh as I got. I think I can get some twenty-eighth today footage but anyway we're gonna zoom in on this footage so we were gonna we're gonna get up to our object that's basically right below the cursor here though the magnifier we zoom in and you're gonna know when you get closer that basically they're blocking it yeah they are but it's basically star clusters that they're blocking okay and as we'll get in and as you can see I basically was better off before but the reason I was better off before they had it at 400 so, you have to make sure that you don't let your eyes play f tricks on you because it'll look like that there is a, and basically I'm going to try to square up the video in a better spot, but basically you're going to see that we've got stars out there, okay? And they block it out, i.e. I'll pop it up to 400 from magnifying up, you see? What I'll do is I'll go all the way down. And you'll realize that I want to have actually in a little dif bit different plane. So I got us up to 600 on the film, and then basically I'm going to try to pump us up to like, uh, we'll customize it at like, we got 600, we'll go to like, yeah, 777, I guess we'll just go 777. And there we go. So now we take the magnifying and we'll zoom in a little bit more on it. And as you see there, you got a star. But over to the left, as you can see, they block it out. See, this is blocking out right here. They're blocking out that you can't see everything that's there and around it. You see, they actually pixel it out so that you can't look totally at it. But we keep on getting these stars here that they're not scared of letting us see that. So I don't understand what the, the problem is. But there's definitely fact of blocking and basically I'll get it down to well, I think you can just see it if we just move that you can take the cursor away at 700 you can see that there's they're basically blocking it out and just pump it up there and you can see that they're blocking it out with pixels I had it a lot more showing it earlier no matter what even if they're not blocking it out, then we have this arrangement. But you can tell that they're blocking it because now the video just started to play. And here, basically, I'll zoom in again on it. And you can see the blockage that they're doing. Now, don't let this play f tricks on you here. This could be a star, basically. It kind of somewhat looks like a planet. But it pretty much could be a star way the heck farther out. Okay? But... You do kind of see what you see now. And no matter what, you can see they're blocking because they're blocking. You see how long this star here is when you zoom in more. And remember, I had it playing, so I'm in a different part of the movie. But you can see that they cut the bottom of this star's tail off by doing that blocking there. And they do not need, as I move left, I think I can move left. So if we sneak up on it again, basically, you've got to sneak up. And then we'll get our deal. Now you can see that you can pretty much see that they block it. Okay, it's very easy to see on the pixels that they block. They don't like to see, let you see 
but then we get a real good look that there's stars and you can see the bottom of that star now when I get on the magnifier or even here I might not be pointing good enough but this star here is the one that basically is getting cut off because you've seen how I had it zoomed in a little bit earlier and I'll zoom in and we'll get an idea of it really does kind of look like that there's a little as long as I don't tap on the screen it does kind of look like that there's a planet right there okay and even underneath the blockage it kind of looks like there's there's three or four or something or something around right underneath the blockage they don't even block it really, really good so we'll touch on this we should be able to get it without knocking the movie and getting the movie to play and then we get up to where, where we can see that they're blocking off the star and as long as I don't touch and you can see the tail of that star is getting blocked. Either that or the star is more forward and they're not really blocking that one, but they sure are blocking the big old pixel here. You can see the whole pixel right there is getting blocked. Why, NASA? Why do you block that from us? All right, now. We get up a little bit more. We still know that we're where we're at. In my deals, and as long as I don't move, then you basically see shadows and remember what we told you about shadows. Whatever is in space, the shadow is the exact same size as what is shadow. So you end up, even with this side shot here, there is something directly behind, ahead of this. As long as I stay over here, I shouldn't. And so you know that there's something that large that's making a shadow out behind, or there's two shadows. If you look at here long enough, there's a lot of different shadows. But there's objects that are that big that are making those shadows because it would be the, it's scientific fact. So there's definitely stars up there. It's not what they've always tried to. We, we knew as soon as they started saying it, it's lint on the lens, lint on the lens. And uh, then we have what we've had the last couple of videos and tears, and that's not absolute yet either. So, and then I should be able to just get all the way down and take this out to like I'll just go to 400 on this and you'll be able to see the video that we're at and that's up there in the sky so it's always there it's on the right hand side of the sun pretty much I'm trying to remember when we're looking at this if this is ahead or behind but it doesn't matter it's up there you can see oh this would be 42a so it's behind and to the right of the sun. Now, very important from B without playing, and this is a fresh shot, and you can see the date and time, so I can save. You can see magnetical, okay? You can see magnetical line here and here, and when I and also here you can see magnetical line there. So the question is, is this possibly three planets? And maybe more because we've been seeing this stuff to the right. Is there more stuff out besides Neptune, Uranus? And but in this, basically, you'd have to research this, the shot on this. And basically, I'll be able to give you somewhat of an idea in a second. But let's zoom in on this as you can see this planet up here. And we're not supposed to be able to see uh, Mercury or Venus in this shot, okay? Unless they want to retract it and have a typo that you can see it in. in uh, H1B behind because in, in the B area shots you should not be able to see it. Okay, only in the head you should be able to catch them. So no matter what, there's these positions here, and we can end up basically after studying a while we can get into it. Now when I do use the, mag the magnifier, I get over and I won't be able to point right on the magnetic lines, but you can pick them up and you can see them, and then I can get up a little bit higher. So. I was interested when after because basically remember the left hand corner today I showed you the CME reactor flare of uh, Venus because it, it's it's with uh, and I should be able to show you in a little bit but anyway these show magnetical as I cruise back down you can see the magnetic it, that's basically what we know ends up being some kind of a Van Allen belt but now the Van Allen belts of our star, the sun, or another star is what the question when we're looking at these, okay? So that's what we have to keep in mind on that. And then I get down here, 
and that's what you got for that shot there. And then we have this interesting over here. It has a magnetical looking to it too. And so we've got this stuff over to the right we've been looking at, and they're seeming to zoom in a little bit more because as you can see from this shot, they zoomed in a lot more, okay? Because you know that's the sun to the left, putting off the CMEs and stuff like that. Okay, and then there's also this interesting stuff in here. Take a look at that since we got some light from the, the sun there. So there you get some interesting stuff way back in the deepness of space there. So, and I can even zip in on that a little bit more and move a little bit. And there you go. So, as this is our map earlier today. So basically, I ended up finding Mars and Saturn in this shot. I think I can go right to it. And basically, this is a great shot that we were seeing because you see Mercury's way over here. And basically, so uh, Mars is over here. That's this magnetical here. And then that should be Saturn more than likely way the heck off as you see it twinkle there. Now as I pump up, you will end up, uh, I can just go here I guess and then my pointer will still work pretty good. So I'll we'll go to like 400 feet. And there we are and that should be Saturn more than likely. And then that was Mer this is Mercury's line and wherever it's at on the the high or the low there, and the sun's over there behind the solar panel getting the energy for the satellite. Okay, for the electrical. Okay, now, this is recent. I'll refresh, see if I get another one. I already take a picture of this, and remember, no matter what, magnetical lines or a ring, and basically it looks to be a ring because we, I've seen in the motion of the pictures when we get the movies that it moves. And remember the blocking, when this gets to be very interesting here because I'll just pump this up with the magnifier too here real fast. And I'm going to be looking at, we're interested in this here because they were blocking before. This should be Mercury here, okay? And this could be Venus's magnetical line. It doesn't really matter at this point in time. But as you get in on that, and I don't know if I'm pointing on it, but it basically interested in that stuff there. Now, that's a very compressed shot, but no matter what, that's there between the sun because the sun's flowing on the, that side of Mercury. We know the sun's over there, and then the CME comes off, so let me give you a And here's our map on B, where I shouldn't have seen Venus and Mercury. And if we do, then we see them way the hell off, but they're sure showing in pretty good. And So anyway, now I just showed you Mercury, and basically what we've seen there fluffed up in the compressed shot is somewhere between there and the sun over here to the right, okay? So as you see, the CME shows up this stuff here. So this stuff here is between Mercury and the sun. There's no if ands, if ands or buts about it. That stuff is right there between Mercury and the Sun. So Mercury is not it's just the size of the Moon. So this stuff is small, but there's a lot of remnants between here and the Sun. So there's a lot of stuff out there between there and the Sun. Because this is a CME that's coming off the Sun. Okay? I guess it's as good as mine, but we're going to take... This is a basically a blow-up. All this over here is a blow-up of this here. So you put this box here down there, and that's the well. The sun's way in the hole in the middle of the hole. Basically, the sun's way in the middle here, all the way down the bottom. Uh, we all rotate around the sun, and then basically we might see this stuff here in this shot here. Check this out. Now it's kind of hard to tell or not, but I can move the magnifier out of the way here, and basically we've got these three bright here because this this could possibly be anything around Neptune, Pluto, and so because this is out our back door here, and we're getting a lot of illumination off the sun right now. So directly behind Earth, and you can pay attention to that map, you back the video up, there's a good chance that Neptune and Pluto and Uranus are in this shot right here behind the sun, behind the Earth right here. Because the Earth, the sun is over here, and here you see the sun blowing on and basically illuminating everything behind here. So this is a, there's a good possibility that Neptune, Pluto, and Uranus are back here, these three objects that you're seeing back in there. So on that shot because this is from B behind and yes both satellites are from behind but and as you see there so that's basically the stuff that should be closest to the earth there and then again either that or it's some of this stuff that's down here that's lower then but as you see there's lots of stuff that's big and large and being illuminated right now and as you can see here and basically I'm probably better off being out of the magnification there on that but as you can see there's a lot of stuff there right there as you can see there that's very large and it's illuminated so it has atmosphere now no matter what everything that you see out here behind which is moving 
and I'll keep on bringing this back as you see moving to the to the right there that's way behind the Sun is basically rotating whatever right around whatever